Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, a place where I break down different topics in the complex world of aviation. Now, I know there's a lot of airplanes out there and even more books and articles and material about every single one of them. And so in this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into 50 of these amazing machines and what makes each of them so cool and so unique. So we'll be talking about every type of airplane from historical war planes from World War II to aviation icons that we all know and love, from fighter jets and stealth bombers to commercial airplanes that probably many of us have flown on before, to even some pretty bizarre looking planes that you wouldn't expect to even get off the ground. So all of this coming up in 50 Facts About 50 Badass Planes. The Wright Flyer was the first official aircraft in the world. The Wright brothers created this plane using $1,000, the equivalent of $30,000 in 2020, despite the fact that neither of the brothers completed high school. In the first flight in 1903, the Wright Flyer flew for 12 seconds over a distance of 36 meters, just 3 meters longer than the entire length of the SR-71 Blackbird, a fan-favorite reconnaissance or spy aircraft that was used to gather Soviet intelligence during the Cold War. To this day, the Blackbird still holds one of the top speed and altitude records, with a cruising speed of over 3.3 times the speed of sound, or Mach 3.3. Blackbird pilots have said that they would simply outfly missiles by speeding up and changing direction. The Blackbird flies six times faster than the V-22 Osprey, which is both a helicopter and a plane, with rotors that can take off vertically, then rotate forward 90 degrees during flights to become propellers like on a regular fixed-wing airplane, like the BD-5 Micro, the smallest jet aircraft in the world, with a wingspan of 6 meters and weighing only 360 pounds. On the other side of the scale is the Ukrainian Antonov An-225, the largest plane in the world by payload capacity. Its famous cargo passengers have included the Soviet space shuttle and four armored tanks and countless tons of medical supplies during the pandemic. But there has only been one single plane of this model ever made. By weight, it can even carry around 2.5 Boeing 767s, which sucks in enough air through its two engines to fill a blimp in 7 seconds. It's definitely come a long way since the de Havilland Comet, which was the very first jet airliner in the world that led to the designs of Boeing and Airbus planes today. However, the decline of the comet was actually due to its square windows, which concentrated stresses on the metal frame at its corners and sped up metal fatigue. So we have the comets to thank for rounded airliner windows today. Another aircraft known for its unique shape is the B-2 Spirits, an innovative spy plane created after the widespread adoption of radar and designed to be invisible in enemy airspace. Not only was this plane itself designed to deflect radar waves in different directions, but it was actually covered in iron ferrite paints that absorbs radar waves as well. Because of its composition, B-2s actually have to stay 40 miles away from thunderstorms, and a crew of two can even conduct missions spanning over 70 hours on the B-2 before touching down on the ground. On the civilian side, we have the Rutan Model 47 Voyager, the first aircraft to fly around the world without stopping or refueling. This journey took 9 days. What you probably don't want to spend 9 days on is the U-2 Dragon Lady, a spy plane that was so hard to land, it required a chase car driving just under the plane that would talk the pilot through the landing. These planes also flew so high so quickly that some pilots suffered permanent brain damage from decompression sickness. Another unintended casualty was the F-11 Tiger, a fighter jet so badass it once shot itself down since it was traveling faster than its own bullet. Another plane famous for maybe not the right reason is the XF-84H Thunder Screech that was possibly the loudest aircraft in the world that would actually create visible sonic booms on the ground. Its shockwaves were powerful enough to knock a person to the ground. 
But a powerful aircraft in a good way was the space shuttle, which took astronauts into space as a rocket and returned them to Earth flown as a plane, or rather a loosely controllable meteor. The systems aboard the space shuttle actually couldn't handle year changes in orbit and hence, missions never took place between December and January. Another unique plane owned by NASA is the Super Guppy, a transport aircraft used for rocket assembly. It's a Frankenstein of a plane with components from various aircrafts and is also the only airplane large enough to carry a complete third stage of the Saturn V rocket. Another space-related aircraft is the F-15 Eagle, a fighter jet so badass that none have ever been shot down by enemy fire. But an F-15 once even shot down a satellite. The Bell X-1 was the experimental aircraft flown by Chuck Yeager, who was the first man to break the sound barrier in 1947. The C-121 Constellation was the first airplane to be adapted into Air Force One to transport the President of the United States. Today, this role is filled by two Boeing 747s, the Queen of the Skies. This is not only one of two double-decker passenger planes to have ever been developed, but was actually the model of both aircraft involved in the most deadly air accident in history that actually took place on the ground. A 747 attempted to take off while another 747 was still on the runway of Tenerife Island. This resulted in a total of 583 fatalities. On the other hand, the Air Airbus A350 is one of the safest airplanes in the world, with zero passenger fatalities. The A350 also services the longest flight in the world from Newark to Singapore, with a flight time of 18 hours and 30 minutes. A plane you don't want to spend 18 hours on would be the Cirrus SR-22, a very popular private aviation aircraft that is even equipped with a parachute for the plane to land during emergencies. Or on some airplanes, you could also just eject. Like on the MiG-25, a Soviet fighter aircraft that holds a staggering 29 world records, including the altitude record that is still unbeaten today, reaching 123,000 feet, which is over three times the service ceiling of most commercial planes today. Another record setter is the F-35 Lightning II, whose development is estimated to have cost seven times more than the development of the entire International Space Station. But it could also take off vertically, so maybe it was worth it? On the other side of the price scale is the Cessna 172, a very popular and affordable single-engine trainer aircraft that is also the most produced airplane in history. Another aircraft for the history books was the F-4U Corsair, the first fighter aircraft to be made with self-sealing fuel tanks that worked by being surrounded by layers of rubber material that once in contact with fuel, they would swell up and essentially heal their own wound. This is extremely common today in all types of fighter aircrafts, like the F-22 Raptor, which is one of the most maneuverable jets since its engine exhaust is actually expelled through nozzles that can rotate to produce thrust in different directions. Slightly less maneuverable is the Airbus A330, a wide-body jet so popular that it is the fourth most sold commercial aircraft in history. Its wingtips, which are the folded tips to reduce drag, are as tall as the world's tallest man at 2.4 meters. In the aviation record books, we also have the Strato Launch, which holds the record for the widest airplane ever flown, with a dual fuselage design intended to serve as a carrier and launch aircraft for rockets into space. It only recently took its first flight in 2019. Under its wings, it can actually fit 10 Supermarine Spitfires, an infamous warplane from World War II with incredible designs. It was one of the first aircrafts to have a retractable landing wheel and even an elliptical wing, which greatly reduced drag and was strong enough to support plenty of firepower, and maybe more importantly, gear kegs for D-Day troops. Also pivotal in World War II was the B-29 Superfortress, the plane that dropped both atomic bombs. But the development of the planes themselves actually cost more than the entire Manhattan Project to develop the atomic bombs. 
The Eurofighter Typhoon is a modern fighter jet developed by Germany, Spain, Italy, and the UK. It's actually so unstable at subsonic speeds that it's impossible for a human to fly it without computer aid to make constant and immediate adjustments. But this is also an indicator of just how advanced this plane is, especially in comparison to the Bell P-59, the very first American jet fighter. Its development was so secretive that during testing, pilots would dress up in costumes so that if people on the ground saw this propellerless plane, they are more likely to believe that they are hallucinating if they were flown by a pilot in gorilla costumes smoking a cigar. Probably equally as bizarre would have been the Aerodyne, a vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, aircraft designed by a famous aerospace designer, Alexander Lipich, to demonstrate that wings actually aren't essential to flights. And yes, this actually flew in the skies. Another aviation wonder was the H-4 Hercules, the second largest aircraft in the world by size. It was actually a flying boat made entirely of wood to save weight during cross-Atlantic travel in World War II. Unfortunately, it was never finished in time for the war, and it only took one single flight for 26 seconds over 1.5 kilometers, a distance covered in 5 seconds by the Airbus A380, the largest and only fully double-decked passenger aircraft in the world, with a capacity of up to 853 passengers. The A380s are so big that in order to fit within existing airport runways, the A380's wings actually had to be shortened from from its optimal length, which greatly reduced fuel efficiency. Fuel was also a lethal weakness of the Mitsubishi A6M Zero, the main fighter for the Japanese forces during World War II. The Zero had two main weaknesses. It was unable to dive as its engines would flood with fuel in zero Gs and was actually extremely vulnerable once hit as its fuel tanks could not self-heal and the frame was also extremely combustible. So due to these disadvantages in dogfighting, many Zeros eventually served as kamikaze planes. On the other hand, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, or the Warthog, was designed to take an incredible amount of damage. In its operator manual, the plane is actually designed to fly with one engine, one half of the tail, one elevator, and half of a wing missing. It was also designed around a badass cannon that can disable tanks from 6 kilometers away. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, or Viper, is the most common fighter jet in the world, used by 15% of the world's air forces. The F-117 was a US stealth bomber that was so secretive that it was actually named using a fighter designation to allegedly attract top air force pilots and also hide the new development from Soviet Union. But what was definitely not a secret was the Gossamer Albatross, the very first human-powered plane that traveled across the English Channel at a top speed of 15 miles per hour by its pilot and creator Brian Allen pedaling his heart out. A little faster than that was the Fokker DR1 Dre Decker, the propeller triplane flown by the Red Baron, the most deadly fighter ace from Germany during World War I, with 80 confirmed victories. A little less intimidating is the C-130 Hercules, a transport aircraft used by 50 air forces around the world. Despite it being around the same size as a Boeing 737, the Hercules can actually take off and land on extremely short runways, and hence it is the largest aircraft to have ever landed on an aircraft carrier, and is often used for disaster relief in remote areas. Possibly also useful in remote areas is the Taylor Aerocar, a dual-functioning airplane and car. The Aerocar can actually make the switch from plane to car by folding back its wings and storing away its propellers, and this can be done in just a few minutes so you can zoom right off the airfield into the streets. But what you don't want to see on the streets is the Airbus Beluga XL, a transport aircraft made by Airbus to carry its plane components to assembly, derived from the company's A330 commercial aircraft. Plus, this might just be the cutest airplane ever. The BAE Harrier II, better known as the Harrier Jump Jet, is a jet that can not only take off and land vertically, but it can also fly sideways and backwards. This is made possible by multiple streams of fast-moving air that is shot out through nozzles that rotate, controlling the direction of the thrust. A little less maneuverable is the Ilyushin IL-76, a Russian transport plane that has completed over 300 landings on the icy runways of Antarctica, and even has a bubble below the flight deck for the navigator. 
Another famous Russian plane is the Sukhoi Su-35, a Russian fighter that has been compared to a UFO due to its physics-defying maneuvers such as the pancake, where it rotates 360 degrees in place in the air. Another UFO-related plane was the P-51 Mustang, the main US fighter plane during World War II. Pilots actually had so much trust in the plane that they used it to track two high-profile unidentified flying objects in the air during the 40s. And during World War II, Mustangs were responsible for over half of all enemy kills. Around that time also came the DC-3, one of the first successful airliners, but in much greater comfort than today, with cocktails and steaks on silverware and even 14 curtained beds. And probably a little less comfortable to fly on was the B-1 Lancer the largest payload carrying bomber of the US fleet. Despite being a bomber, the B-1 actually has similar flight characteristics to fighter aircrafts and even have a top speed of over Mach 2. And last but not least, at number 50 is the Concorde, the first and only supersonic passenger jet in the world, capable of taking 100 passengers from London to New York in just three hours. The Concorde had a cruising speed of over Mach 2 and could easily outfly almost every single fighter jet. Due to its speed, the fuselage would actually expand up to 10 inches during flight and heat up to the touch. This heat was actually the limit to how fast it could fly and not its engines, since its aluminum material that the Concorde was made from would begin to soften if the plane sped up any further. So there you have it, 50 facts about 50 airplanes. Now, I hope that by watching this video, you've learned something new or even discovered a new airplane you haven't heard about before. And if I didn't get to mention your favorite plane, I am so sorry, but please let me know in the comments down below. Now, typically on my channel, I do a series called Airplane Anatomy, where I do a deep dive into one specific plane and talk about its history, its engineering, and how it flies. So, so far I've done episodes on the SR-71 Blackbird, the Supermarine Spitfire, the A380, and many more. So feel free to go check those out if you haven't already. Now, as always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel for new aviation content. And I'll see you guys next time.